Want to score over 850 in your MedSurge HESI? Then let's get started. A client with diabetes mellitus is prescribed metformin. What is the primary action of metformin? Stimulates insulin secretion, increases glucose production in the liver, enhances insulin sensitivity in peripheral tissues, inhibits pancreatic alpha cells. Pause the video and select your answer. The correct answer is C, enhances insulin sensitivity in peripheral tissues. Metformin works by enhancing insulin sensitivity in peripheral tissues, thereby improving glucose uptake and utilization. It does not stimulate insulin secretion, increase glucose production, or inhibit pancreatic alpha cells. You can pause the video and go through why each option was incorrect. A client with hyperthyroidism is prescribed PTU. What is the purpose of PTU in the management of hyperthyroidism? Inhibits thyroid hormone synthesis, stimulates thyroid hormone release, suppresses thyroid stimulating hormone, increases iodine uptake by the thyroid. Pause the video and select your answer. The correct answer is A. Inhibits thyroid hormone synthesis. PTU inhibits the synthesis of thyroid hormones by blocking the action of thyroid peroxidase, an enzyme involved in the production of thyroid hormones. It does not stimulate thyroid hormone release, suppress TSH, or increase iodine uptake by the thyroid. A client with hypothyroidism is prescribed levothyroxine. What should a nurse monitor for as an indicator of the therapeutic response to levothyroxine? Decrease heart rate, increase blood pressure, elevated cholesterol levels, weight gain. Pause the video and select your answer. The correct answer is A. Decreased heart rate. Levothyroxine is a synthetic form of thyroid hormone used to treat hypothyroidism. One of the indicators of the therapeutic response is a decrease in heart rate, as thyroid hormones influence cardiovascular function. Increased blood pressure, elevated cholesterol levels, and weight gain are not expected responses to levothyroxine therapy. A client with Addison's disease is experiencing an acute adrenal crisis. What is the priority nursing intervention? Administering a corticosteroid, providing IV fluids, monitoring blood glucose levels, administering a beta blocker. Pause the video and select your answer. The correct answer is A, administering a corticosteroid. In an acute adrenal crisis, the priority is to administer a corticosteroid such as hydrocortisone to replace the deficient adrenal hormones. Providing IV fluids, monitoring blood glucose levels, and administering beta blockers are important but secondary interventions in the context of an acute adrenal crisis. A client with diabetes insipidus is prescribed desmopressin. What is the primary therapeutic effect of desmopressin? Increased urine output, increased blood glucose levels, decreased blood pressure, decreased urine output. Pause the video and select your answer. The correct answer is D, decreased urine output. Desmopressin is a synthetic form of vasopressin used to treat diabetes insipidus. Its primary therapeutic effect is to decrease urine output by promoting water reabsorption in the kidneys. It does not increase urine output, blood glucose levels, or decrease blood pressure. A client with hyperparathyroidism is at risk for developing hypocalcemia, hyperkalemia, hypernatremia, hyperphosphatemia. Pause the video and select your answer. The correct answer is D, hyperphosphatemia. Hyperparathyroidism leads to increased secretion of PTH, which can result in increased serum phosphate levels. Hypocalcemia is a complication of excessive PTH, but the primary concern in hypoparathyroidism is hyperphosphatemia. Hyperkalemia and hypernatremia are not typically associated with hyperparathyroidism. A nurse is caring for a client with a history of thyroidectomy. What signs should a nurse monitor for as an indication of potential hypocalcemia? Bradycardia, hyperreflexia, hypotension, positive Chavexi sign. The correct answer is D, positive Chavsteck sign. Positive Chavsteck sign, which is facial muscle twitching or spasm, in response to tapping the facial nerve, is an indication of potential hypocalcemia. 
bradycardia, hyperreflexia, and hypotension are not specific signs of hypocalcemia. A client with hyperaldosterism is likely to exhibit hypotension, hyperkalemia, hypoglycemia, hypocalcemia. Pause the video and select your answer. The correct answer is B, hyperkalemia. Hyperaldosterism leads to excessive secretion of aldosterone, causing increased potassium excretion and subsequently hyperkalemia. Hypotension, hypoglycemia, and hypocalcemia are not typically associated with hyperaldosterism. A client with acromegaly is at risk for development of hyperglycemia, hypertension, hypothyroidism, hypercalcemia. Pause the video and select your answer. The correct answer is A, hyperglycemia. Acromegaly, often caused by excessive growth hormone secretion, is associated with insulin resistance, leading to hyperglycemia. While hypertension may occur, hyperglycemia is a more specific risk. Hypothyroidism and hypercalcemia are not typically associated with acromegaly. A nurse is caring for a client with pheochromocytoma. What classic triad of symptoms should a nurse monitor for in this client? Hypertension, tachycardia, and weight loss. Hypotension, bradycardia, and weight gain. Hypertension, bradycardia, and hyperglycemia. Hypotension, tachycardia, and hyperglycemia. Pause the video and select your answer. The correct answer is A, hypertension, tachycardia, and weight loss. The classic triad of symptoms in pheochromocytoma includes hypertension, tachycardia, and weight loss. These symptoms are related to the excessive secretion of catecholamines. Hypotension, bradycardia, and hyperglycemia are not a typical feature of pheochromocytoma. Congratulations on finishing these 10 questions. Click that subscribe button and join us next Monday.